Are you an Obama supporter? Can't you guess? <laughs> See that one? Wow. <laughs> so tell us. I worked in both uh, campaigns, and I have an invitation. I can. I'm from Maryland, but um, I would not miss this a second time. I might not even be. A, well, he won't be running again. That's not true. He's going to get a third term, don't you think? Oh, third, wouldn't, third wouldn't that and that be four. amazing? Third and third four. And four. He, could be, he could be in for life, right? Oh, sure. I'd vote yeah. for him. For life? <laughs> for life. <laughs> it's not dangerous at all? Well, I don't think his wife would want that for <laughs> All the girls. So his wife lets him. Yeah. <laughs> so this tell us, great. why do you support Obama? Because, uh, for one thing, uh, I found out from the Harvard professors that He's the most brilliant man who passed through Harvard in 40 years. Right. And then I'm a, a history is my forte. I'm a social studies history teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found out after studying all the presidents of the United States, he's the most intelligent president we have ever had in the history of the United States. And anyone who disputes it, they could do the same thing I did, just study it. Well, I mean, his intelligence is really just one thing to support about him. I he's mean, really, honest. It's, it's how he applies it, right, in the policies that he that he's made. If he wasn't fought so, if the Republicans would not resist, everything he likes, they don't like. Every well, that's that's not true because you know they they both like one of the things that Obama is really good about is you know what how he's been saving the economy, giving that's money true. to the right people, you know, to the, to save the financial industry because you know people are really dependent on that. That's they, they true. agree on that, right? Yes, I do. And and, and they, you know, on foreign policy, they, they really do agree too, right? I mean, they, right. they want to keep America safe. Right. They they want to take out the terrorists terrorists with drone strikes, and it's okay if there's some collateral damage. I mean, they're both they're, they're the Republicans are, are are with Obama on the important things, right? Right. But I do think that it's time for the Republicans to be voted out. Those who resist, those who are against, and especially those who said they're going to make him a one-term president. I always well, knew. Well, they already lost. Of course. I all, uh, But they don't know they lost. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I always knew that there would be a, a president. However, he's not black or white, right? Right. And he spans two continents. Right. Uh, Africa More. and... More. Well, that's true. And, and I lived in Africa as a Peace Corps volunteer for five years. Oh, well, he lived in the, in, um, in the Philippines, too, right? I lived... I lived and I lived in West Africa. I'm speaking of myself, okay. my husband oh. and my son and my daughter. We uh, were in West Africa for five years and visited 19 countries. And we go back every year to, uh, well, we've been to Germany, Greece, Rome, China, all over the place. So we're missionaries now. So do you think Obama's in his second term finally going to step up on the gun issue? We're going to get all the guns He's out of the He's already gotten American. tough. We're, we're, going to limit, we're going to beat the Second Amendment, right? Yeah. Well, I don't. I think the Second Amendment should stand. But I think with, with the plans, you know, as far as being in the hands of dangerous yeah. people, I don't think any rights should be taken from any citizen as long as we exercise the rights properly. But we need to make sure the government has plenty of guns, not not the people, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And, and about the First Amendment, I think it's good that he's putting some checks on that, too, like yeah. with Bradley Manning. Very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. we, we definitely have too much freedom of speech in this country. Right, right. Yeah. So what else are you hoping that Obama achieves in his second term? Everything that he has already desired, that he has already put in place, do you think we're going to get full-on socialism? Do you think we're going to, I don't know if, if we're going to cross that threshold, but do you think we're, I don't think we're there yet, but we might get there in the second term. Is that one of your hopes? If we keep praying. If we keep I praying? I believe in the power of prayer. I know what God has done. Yes. Outstanding. But then you hope in, in the faith that you have, and I believe every human being should be treated equally. I don't think there should ever be any difference. So, is there anything else you want to say to the internet audience about what this second inauguration for Barack Obama means today? I think that it means just what you already said, hope, hope. and trust, and to show a different America. Yeah. We've already seen how wonderful, I worked in the campaign, so I know how wonderful, you know, people, uh, Americans, uh, Jewish, well, Jewish people are Americans as well, and my friends. In fact, one of my Jewish friends gave me this, who worked for 
my uh, yeah, husband. I, yeah, it's really important that Obama keeps giving show. money to Israel, that he's, that he's a good oh, supporter of oh, Israel. Oh, absolutely. And we're going to keep funding, funding them oh, to be able should. to defend themselves, should right? should never desert yeah. Israel. I mean, yeah. that's even scriptural. Even. Yeah. And you know, Obama's name is in uh, the Bible, in the three books of Judges, mm -hmm. another book, and of course, Hussein also. Uh, I just trust him to do, but we have to continue to support Thank him. Thank you so much. Do for you your support time. him? Absolutely. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Well, God bless you. Well, I, I honestly, I gotta say, I, I'm really more in, in favor of, of freedom than than oh, having Barack Obama as president. Freedom everywhere. Well, freedom for all people. But Obama's really not for freedom. You know, he's he's really taking a stand against. You know, freedom for people to be able to defend themselves. He's Do you think been, that? He's been killing children with drone strikes overseas, so he's not really <laughs> for freedom for them. Well, having, and, and he's not for freedom of, for people to keep the product of their labor. He's been increasing taxes and government spending and giving money to, to the bankster class, like you mentioned, like you said that you support. You know, I, I really don't think that the, the rich people on Wall Street need more money, and I, I don't support Obama doing that. I, I see what you're saying. But on the other hand, the spending has already been done. It came from the wars, uh, from... Uh, yeah, I don't really support yeah. Obama spending so much money on our foreign policy either and, and giving more money to the military industrial complex. I don't you think don't think so? Idea. Suppose we did not have a military. Right. And then we wouldn't have as many enemies around the world, you know, from, from what the CIA calls blowback. I see what you're saying. I was in Fallujah in 2004 with oh, the Marines and came home and you know, realized that the war was a lie mm -hmm. and you know it's really offensive to me that Obama is keeping troops deployed overseas and had a surge in Afghanistan sure, and has continued all the most destructive anti-freedom policies mm -hmm. of the Bush era and then made them worse. Well why don't you write to him and tell him some of those things you know he answers the letters or at least someone does. Someone does. I write letters <laughs> all the time and I always get a good answer. Always get a good answer from uh. Obama. <laughs> So anyway, thank you very much. What is your name? Adam. All right. Adam versus the, the man. The first man. Okay. Yes, yes, All right. Well, thank you thank so much. Thank you for much. your time, Janice. I've been so many places. I've seen so many things, but none quite as delectable as you. And then they call these arbitrary lines drawn on maps borders. Patriotism is a form of collectivism.